survival gamers, Molly Berry here. Hello Games just dropped a mind-bogglingly awesome patch for No Man's Sky, and I'm here to break it down, but not in that voice, I promise. The patch is 4.6 and is called the Orbital Update and has a major focus on revamping the space stations. UI, graphics, some elements of trade in the economy, player experience, and my absolute most anticipated feature of all time since I started playing the game, Starship Customization. So here it is in no particular order, and of course you're going to let me know what I leave out in the comments. Here's a breakdown on the patch notes. Let's get into it. The game mode select and splash screens and in-game patch notes will be the first thing that you'll notice as they've gotten a full refresh and now they feel very modern, sleek, and clean. This same vibe of refreshed interface design will be seen throughout the entire game as they've implemented new, refreshed, modern, and clean UI elements. All right, let's start this out by talking about the chonkiest of all, the total and complete redesign and overhaul of the space stations. They are now huge, and the exteriors come in a wide range of procedurally generated shapes and colors. The interiors are also procedurally generated now, and the game engine improvements have facilitated a vast and dramatic new station experience with a more realistic appearance. The lighting and visuals have been overhauled and improved, Essential navigation to key parts of the station will now be more intuitive and efficient, and stations will be quite different system to system. The race of the local system authorities now causes vastly differing aesthetics that will vary tremendously from system to system. The Corvax will be more techy with chonky server walls and gadgets. The GEC stations provide comfy and ergonomic lounges and flashy roll-up signage. And Viking stations will be, of course, gun cabinets and weapon storage from wall to wall. A selection of space station commodities are now available to build in planetary and freighter bases as a large number of new base parts have been added based on the decoration style of the space station. You can unlock these base blueprint parts with salvage data from the construction research station aboard the Space Anomaly. Space station vendors and interactions have all been visually refreshed. New high-tech props, kiosks, and decorations have been added, and each guild now has a uniquely designed service point for its envoy. And just like we've been able to do in the Space Anomaly, we can now use the quick menu to switch our docked ship while aboard the space station. All you have to do is make sure the ship you're calling has working thrusters, and you're good to go. This is an amazing improvement and really should make ship scrapping a whole lot easier. Speaking of ship scrapping, this brings me to what's got to be the number one most requested feature for No Man's Sky, and it came to us for this patch, ship customization. Amazing. A new interaction called the Starship Fabricator has been added to the space stations. You can now disassemble starships at the Starship Outfitting Station to break them into reusable components called customization modules. Then, using salvage customization modules and a new item we can purchase from technology merchants called the Reactor Core, we combine them to complete the design and to determine the class and stats of your new starship. We can do this for fighters, explorers, and haulers. We can also decorate our new custom starships with a variety of paint designs, including some tints and shades unavailable in galactic standard starships. Starships acquired by hunting them down old school or trading them with NPCs can be identified by the authenticated Starship seal, and they'll attract a bonus in price when traded now. There has also been a massive overhaul to the integration of standing and reputation in No Man's Sky. Your standing with alien races now impacts the prices offered by vendors on space stations, and technology merchants in the space stations will now have a wider range of upgrades with more high quality items available. Affiliation with the merchants, mercenaries, and explorers guild is also now more beneficial with this update. Guild envoys in each system now offer a selection of free or discounted supplies, increasing in value for higher ranking members. You can also bribe your way up the ranks by donating to guild treasuries via the guild envoys at the space stations, including using the newly added pirate transponders, which you can get from defeating pirates. The economy scanner can now sweep for market surges in nearby systems, meaning you can now cash in on special opportunities to trade commodities that are currently scarce or in high demand. The economy scanner can also now be activated from your ship's inventory. 
and a really fun addition to enhance your freighter's frigate deployment. Frigates sent out on expeditions may reach out for remote guidance or even request your presence for direct intervention. You'll be called on to advise your frigate captains on a wide range of concerns from crew management to risky exploration ventures and might even need to warp to their system to help defend the fleet against attack. The choices will matter and will have a direct impact on the outcome and rewards of your expeditions. There were also a huge number of bug fixes in this update and other tweaks that I'll link in the description. That's it for me today and all of these amazing changes to No Man's Sky. I'm Molly Berry and you should subscribe if you love survival games and good vibes. I'll see you next time. And that's it for today. Now it's time for you to let me know how you feel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my video. Major thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. See you next time.